Today I'll be showing you 5 ways to use OTG cables to get the most out of your phone. Sorry for not uploading lately, I've been a bit busy but I'm back to my weekly upload schedule now. Ok before I get started, here's a few things you'll need. Obviously you'll need an OTG cable. These things cost the same as a cup of coffee and are well worth it. I'll leave a link in the description. An Android smartphone that can use an OTG cable would also be handy. If you're not sure on this, type into Google the name of your smartphone followed by OTG compatibility. If you find that your phone isn't compatible, there's loads of tutorials on how you can make it work, just take a look on YouTube. And that's about all you'll need to get started. First on the list is using a mouse and keyboard. Using an OTG cable, you can connect a wired or wireless mouse and keyboard to your phone or tablet. There's no need for drivers or any installation, it's literally just plug and play. When the mouse is plugged in, a small cursor shows up on the screen and allows you to control everything that you would normally do with your finger. You can do smaller, more precise movements, such as drawing, clicking and even typing. I found this to be most useful when I'm watching a movie and my phone is on a stand. I can just use the mouse to pause, rewind or fast forward. There's not much to say about the keyboard, it just lets you type on a full sized physical object rather than a small virtual piece of software. By the way, if you're wondering what mouse this is, it's the Logitech M185. I use this every day and it's a really awesome mouse. Links in the description. If you've ever run out of space on your phone, you'll absolutely love this next one. Using an OTG cable, you can plug in a pen drive or thumb drive, whatever you want to call it, and get some extra space. Using a file manager that you can download for free from the Play Store, you can view and transfer files from your phone to the pen drive or vice versa. If you really want, you can use a portable hard drive for even more storage. This is awesome for long car journeys or trips because you can store tons of films and games on the pen drive and play them on the go. If the pen drive uses a lot of power, you may experience some battery drain, but I haven't really had any problems. Next is using a game controller. I've made a separate tutorial on this, so make sure you check that out. But basically, you can connect your Xbox and PlayStation controller, whether that's wired or wireless, and use it to play games on your phone. The setup's great for shooters like Dead Trigger or games like GTA, and all you need is your controller and this tiny OTG cable to bring console controls with you wherever you go. The last two uses are mainly for photographers or people who use their camera regularly. For DSLR users, you can connect your smartphone straight to your camera via USB and along with an app from the Play Store, you can view and control everything on it. I personally haven't tried this out yet, but apparently you can control ISO, zoom, aperture and pretty much everything else, whilst also being able to see a live capture from the DSLR and adjust accordingly. This is useful if your camera is in an awkward position where you can't quite see the screen or if you're doing a long time lapse. Instead you can use your phone and do it all comfortably on a nice large touchscreen display. CNET have written a great article on it so make sure you take a look in the description. The other use for camera users is the ability to connect your camera and transfer pictures directly to your phone. This is pretty simple really. It's quite similar to the pen drive function, except this is even easier. When you plug in a PTP device, it immediately pops up the gallery app with a new folder there containing all of your pictures. When you open the folder, you have an import option for the photos, or you can just browse them if you want. You can skip the process of using a computer entirely and use your phone to edit, upload and share to Instagram or whatever photo sharing thingy you use. So that's it for my list. If you have anything I didn't cover, make sure you leave them in the comments. Hopefully this helped you out and convinced you of the practicality of an OTG cable. Remember the buying link is in the description. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not? There's pretty awesome stuff coming soon, so make sure you hit that button. Anyway, thanks for watching.